Coming up, I discover a side of Bangladesh I never knew existed. It's really beautiful here. I had been staying in a village called Gorishin in Tangail. Wanting to escape the city and experience country life, I had been given the opportunity to hang out with locals and find out what their lives were all about. So I've just woken up. It's my first morning here and breakfast is in full swing. And I think I'm going to go and see a cow being milked. I want to check out what um, village life is like. Let me see what's going on. Just put my shoes on. Oh, look at this. <laughs> First things first, I was intrigued to see what they cooked for breakfast. This is Khadija. Khadija is working away. She's the main lady here. So Khadija um, is the wife of the chap who basically kind of runs the village, from what I understand. And she's very well respected and she oversees, or well, she is overseeing the cooking. And uh, everyone seems very happy to work to her. And she seems like a really nice lady as well. The little kids here look lined up, little children. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah. Well done. Well done. I think we're having an omelette. One thing I'm hoping from my trip. Um, and the trips that I've made this year is is that I've become a little bit more natural, should we say, at cooking. And I'm watching them. Um, oh, it looks like she's dealing with molasses. That's interesting. Could be wrong. What do you think? Look. Oh no, is it ghee? Is that ghee? What is it? Rosso. Oh, rosso. I don't know what that is. Rosso nada. I have to find out what that is when our it comes. So yeah, one thing. One thing I'm hoping is that by watching these people cook this incredible fresh food that I get a little bit better. They seem to take real pleasure in um, preparing it and it's kind of, it's so relaxing watching them because they just take their time, it's so fresh. They're, they're producing it beautifully and it's like a bit of an art form. such a nice way to wake up. Imagine just coming out and watching someone cook. It's like, oh, it's great. Hey, Amit. Yes. What's, uh, what's rosso? Is it rosso? What is that ingredient there? Yeah, what is it? Garlic. Garlic. Huh? Garlic. It's garlic. They uh, uh, kept it inside the freeze, the refrigerator. Ah, the free, right. That's why it looks different. Mm. Here we go. Show them how. Yeah. There we go. Ah, look, see. Ah. Ooh. Sticking. But it obviously keep on going with it. Yeah, see. I could probably learn a lot from this lady. Thank you. I could learn a lot just by watching and practicing here. Some more friends. Look at the house. Look, check the house out. That arm it's getting ready. It's so cute, isn't it? Imagine that, staying there. It's so pretty. Got the chapatis going on here, look. This girl here is newly married and um, she is uh, taking time to learn lots of different things, like, you know, different ways of cooking from the senior women. And in our Their skills are passed down. So I've been given a uh, chapati, see? Yeah. Fresh off the stove. Let's give it a little whirl. Here we go. I'm just trying to use my right hand and film. Hang on. It's going well. It's going well. I have a little piece. It's, it's hot. Yeah? Hot. It smells really good. Ah, oh, it smells lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Soft. That freshly baked taste and smell. Mm. Love it. Food is served. I've got my second chapati here. I've seen some omelette going in, and I think there's some chaff coming. Here we go. Let's see. Lovely. Thank you. This is great. So, what's it? This looks. Uh, it looks potato. Like, is it potato? It almost looked like ginger. 
Yeah. Let's have a no, smell. No, no, is it potato? This is the hundred percent traditional breakfast item. Wow, in the awesome! It's shredded potato with um, I think I saw like garlic and chili. Uh, onion. Onion. Onion, chili, mm. like, onion, chili, some turmeric. Yeah, some turmeric. Turmeric, some uh, salt. Salt and oil. Oh, chili oil. Right, it looks great. What's it called again? Uh, alu bhaji. Alu bhaji. Ah. Potato fry. Ah, fried potato. Alu bhaji. So I'm going to move my chapati to the side like that. And I'm going to put a bit of the old dal on the old plate. And then I can use the chapati to mop it up. Maybe that was what the bowl was for. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stick it there. There we go. Go with the flow, as they say. Go with the flow. Chai is coming. Need a bit of uh, caffeine. Need a bucket of caffeine. Right, here we go. Let's try this. <clears throat> so the... Alubaji. Alubaji. It's going on. Ready? Mm. Really nice. Very garlicky. I'm not very good at this. Mm. Mm. I, I, I asked people to show me daily life here in the village and <clears throat> Having had breakfast, we are now heading to the cow. I think the cow, singular, not sure, uh, to see some milking anyway. Bit of fresh milk. Look here, see? I'll give you a little bit of geography and see where I am. Look the cows, they look very healthy. Look at those cows. Wow. Oh, hello. The lady got the calf to get the milk production going, an audience built, and then she cracked on. Well, they put a lot of uh, time and energy into making sure their animals are well cared for. Look, she's putting vaseline on. Oh, wow. It's like a jet stream, isn't it? <laughs> the gentleman in here is basically keeping the cow calm and relaxed and removing any mosquitoes so that there's less chance the cow will kick and obviously send the milk flying but more importantly hurt the lady so he is like a two-person act keep the cow calm and he quids in oh my goodness me wow oh. there we go got it ready Look at that, look at that, pure white milk. Then she's gonna pop it into the bottles. Decanting it into the bottles ready for market. Here we go. I want to hold the bottle, I feel like it's gonna tip over. Look at that, that's the freshest milk. Amazing. What they do? Today, today they have got three and a half liters. Three and a half liters, brilliant. Oh, that, that didn't take long. Look at these two. Look at that. Look at that. Look so they, they measure out the milk mm. by using these plastic bottles, mm. then they know exactly how many litres they've got, mm. they stick it back in the bucket, mm. shortly it's going to go to market I think. Now, the milk isn't the only thing given to them by the cow. So what they're doing now is using the cow dung and basically kind of patting it onto a stick, which I think then gets dried. And then once it's dried, um, it's used for the fires. Um, you can light it, basically. It goes up in flames. You can imagine that, can't you? But they're also, um, they, they make like little kind of patties, I guess, for want of a better term, um, as well, which they put along, along the road or up trees. And then they dry out. And then it's a bit like, um, they kind of look like bits of coal. But it's all to do with um, the fires. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty boy. <laughs> you see that boy? <laughs> Look, at his face. Look at his little face. He's like, he wants to play with the poo. 
<laughs> They're worried it's going to flick on me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> They're so cute, those two. <laughs> One thing you notice about um, life here is that everything is used, um, recycled, used, um, you know, you, 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 you've got the cow, you milk the cow, you drink the cow's milk, you use the cow's dung. It's very, very natural. Right, so then once the sticks are finished, she'll put them out to dry. Look, here we go. It was awesome to see this side of local life, and now it was time to see some farming. We are going to go to, um, I think, the field. Heading back to my village, I was given the chance to spend time with yeah. Nosrul. Um, Nosrul here is going to take me to his paddy field and he's getting ready. He's, he's got his scarf around his head to protect from the sun. He's basically going to show me what he does. Okay? Yeah, right. Let's go. Thank you. So we're following Nosrul. Oh, naughty puppy! <gasps> Look at the naughty puppy! Oh, the naughty puppy! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, your mother! Ah, oh, great! Oh. <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hi! Hello. Hi! Having been here 24 hours, I can feel the difference in my lungs. It's, it's the air is much cleaner here. Oh, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Much cleaner. As we came to the edge of the village, I could not believe how beautiful it was. Wow, this is cool around here. Look at this. Is it a banana garden? Oh, wow, look at this. It's really beautiful here. And everything that they've done, you know, down to the fences and the pathways, everything is immaculate. Everything is clean. I can't see any litter. These guys obviously like really cherish where they live. And they love their land. That's clear. That's very, very clear. We walked past numerous fields with an array of vegetables. Everything looked so green, so colourful, so fresh. And finally, we arrived at Nusrul's very own slice of paradise. So I'm learning that Nusrul uh, comes here every day between eight in the morning and one, and then he goes home for lunch, and then he comes back for a couple of hours. Nusrul has a reasonable amount of land, and he is growing a complete range of uh, vegetables, from the sugar cane to onions to potatoes, um, to bottle guard, spinach, <laughs> mustard, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, Banana. bananas, Lime. limes. <laughs> He's got loads, yeah. Uh, and so he works here every day, and obviously there's there's enough food to feed his family. But then he'll go to market a couple of times a week. Oh my goodness! Look at the bananas. No way. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh. Wow. Look at that banana. Wow. That is a look at that. That's perfect, isn't it? That's ready to go. Oh. Hey, come on, come on. Hey. Wow. Yeah. I'll take some. Would you like some? Mmm. Mm. Great. I've never had them this fresh before, I can tell you. Mm. Then I spotted the vegetable that has since become one of my favourites in Bangladesh and it's lal shag, otherwise known as red spinach. And we started to pick some for dinner. It's literally like I'm looking at this space with a filter on my eye because everything is so vibrant. So on to cauliflower now, look at this. Oh, look, there it is, look. Gosh. In it goes. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, he's got he's got it going on here. I tell you what, he's got everything. 
this would be like a chef's paradise, wouldn't it? An absolute paradise. Such a beautiful space as well. Heading back to the village with our dinner pretty much sorted, I then had the chance to discover more about village life. One of the things I wanted to find out uh, in this village is how they wash clothes. Things that we take for granted and we just chuck in a washing machine. I want to know how they do it here because they do have electricity, but it's hit and miss. So I know they're not going to have enough to run a machine. Uh-huh. Ah, so it's like the washing powder. Yeah. Whoa. Earlier, I went past some washing on a line and it smelled exactly like it come out of a washing machine. The same sort of detergent. Um, so I was in my head, I was thinking, oh, they must have washing machines. But of course, it's all by hand. The women in these villages work very, very hard. Um, everything that they do is, is physical work. So it could be food preparation, it could be washing, it could be cleaning. Um, but because they don't have access to the electricity in the same way that we do, obviously they have to do a lot more of the work and they are very, very fit because of it. This village in particular, I've noticed everything is spotless. The walls of the houses, the floors, the, you know, the, the concrete outside, the washrooms, everything is absolutely spotless. With the final rays of the warm afternoon sun shining, the washing was hung out to dry. And then, as darkness fell, it was time to see how the evening meal was prepared, using some of the vegetables we collected that very day. It's obviously dark now, as you can see, and we've just been sitting outside chatting and finding out more about each other, which is great. And now they are cooking like the main meal. So we've got the eggplant going in. So look, we've got a load of spices that have been mixed together there. And then they've been put on the eggplant, see, like that. Yeah. And they've been popped in. If this was England, this would be like a really warm summer's evening. Um, but it's their winter and it's hilarious. I'm seeing them come out with their big woolly hats and their jackets. And of course, to me, I'm like, oh, it's so lovely and hot because I'm not used to it. I was being treated to a fish I hadn't eaten before called pangash. Whilst the fish was cooking inside, I stepped outside to have a look at the red spinach. Ah, wonderful. There we go. And within a very short time, the job was done. Right, the food is ready. So stepping in for the delight. We've got r lovely rice. Yeah, we've got the red leaf. We've got the fish. Look at that. Look at what the topping on that looks amazing. And we've got the kind of eggplant, uh, aubergine type thing, and we've got some lime. And the banana. <laughs> Wonderful. That is a feast. I can't wait to try it. We've got the guys here. They're waiting. They're watching. They're watching with anticipation to see what we think. We're waiting and watching, watching and waiting. Yeah, look, it's it's now like a like 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 the cinema. Look. Here we go, you see? I'm gonna go for the vegetables first. I'm the only, I'm the only one eating in the room. Everybody else is in the room just looking at me. Right, I can't actually get a small mouthful, so we're going for a big mouthful and we're going for the red leaf first, ready? I'm looking at them, ready? Mmm. <laughs> mmm, they're waiting, look. Mmm. <laughs> That's really nice. Thank you. Okay, now let's try the fish. I watched the fish being made from scratch. I think we just need to appreciate how amazing this looks. Right, here we go. Fish, fish going in, fish going in. I've got chili at the back of my throat. Here we go with the fish. Ready? Silence, the silence is incredible. Mmm. Mmm. Not good. The fish is lovely. Mmm. Mmm. It's moving a bone. Mmm. That's really nice. Mmm. 
Not only was the food amazing, the care was amazing too. And wanting me to sleep well, I was given assistance to make sure my bed was comfortable by the entire village. We've got a lot of help here. Look, making it mosquito free, which is good. Mosquito free environment. Everybody is here to make sure I'm comfortable and I'm going to have a great time, which of course I am. It's my final morning in the village. I've had a lovely time just absorbing village life and seeing how people live. It's been really fun. Uh, everyone has been so welcoming. Honestly, if you want to come to Bangladesh, you definitely have to get out of the city and experience village life as well um, because it offers another side to the country, which is just incredible. Incredible. You know, the hospitality here is, is, is amazing and they are so happy to welcome you. During breakfast, there was time to see one last activity. Jaber is about to let the chickens out, let's see. Here we go. Let's watch them run. Oh, look, look, look. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are they going to come? Oh, is that it? It's just one. Oh, there's more. Just one. There's one chicken. <laughs> hen. Hen. Yeah, hen. This chicken apparently last night got a bit freaked out because there were so many people here and flew to the top of a tree. And I think it was a bit of a rescue mission, but it's safe. It was put away overnight and now it's out for the day. It had been an incredible experience being welcomed into the very heart of this village. It's amazing how quickly you can feel a part of a place and its people, which always means that goodbyes are that bit harder. So it's time to go now. Time to go now. Bags are packed. Have a long time. Give you a hug. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you make connections in Bangladesh, it's never just with individuals, it's with an entire community. And this is one community I shall never forget. Lots of hugs. Bye-bye. <laughs> Lots of hugs. Bye. Down the line. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you. 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 Bye-bye, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. There's something about the Bangladeshi welcome that makes you never want to leave.